I am Leslie Gladney. I'm here at CFF 2016 with the glorious Jeff Burr, who has a film screening tomorrow called... Um, uh, it's called Eddie Presley, and it's the uh, perfect April Fool's uh, joke uh, in cinema. It's, a, it's a tw the 25-year anniversary of the uh, making of the movie. So uh, I'm just so very happy to see it on a big screen and uh, probably the first time in 25 years. Wow. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the story? It, it's, it's a movie I made right after I made uh, Leatherface, Sex Chains of Massacre 3, which was a not a great experience for me. So this is kind of the the anti that. So it was a completely independent film. We raised money. My brother produced it with a guy named Chuck Williams and Tom Denolf. Um, and it was a completely independent film. And, and I had total total control. And uh, it was based on a, a one act play I had seen by a guy named Dwayne Whitaker. And we worked on the screenplay and made the film. Made the, it, was, it was definitely my favorite just uh, production experience uh, to date because uh, it was just it was just so fun and so free flowing and it, anything we had enough crew people that knew what they were doing so any ideas that we came up with could be implemented and so it was just a wonderful uh, very very creative place to be for 18 or 20 days. Nice. Are you are you excited to get to see audience reactions for the first time in that long? Well, that that presupposes an audience, and uh, th this <laughs> this movie has had incredibly hard luck, uh, not unlike the character itself of Eddie Presley, uh, of finding an audience. It, it's it's every director has um, that's made any kind of movies. Uh, they they always have a favorite movie themselves that may not be the public's favorite. So <laughs> I know I'm not selling too many tickets here, but. Um, it's, it's, it's very close to my heart and what it's about thematically and, and, uh, and the time we made it. So for me, it's a, a total time capsule of who I was at that time and, uh, in Los Angeles uh, in 1991, uh, which, which, which was before the L.A. riots, but the, the, everything was in place for the L.A. riots to happen. So, and that's a, that's a very important component of the movie, um, uh, just, just the how... how, how People that are disenfranchised have, have had been treated by uh, um, authority. So, um, so, so, and, and it's a comedy. So, 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 it's one of these. It's a comedy drama. It's been. Some people see it, and, and, and some people call it Eddie Depressley. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, but it's got a lot of people you'll recognize, uh, actor-wise. Um, and it's got a, a very itty bitty cameo by uh, Quentin Tarantino and. Uh, Bruce Campbell, nice. who, who, who hopefully everyone knows, but but there are the people like Roscoe Lee Brown and Lawrence Tierney and uh, Tim Thomerson, just an amazing collection of, uh, of of character actors that 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 were working at the time, and, and and a lot of definitely a lot of faces that you'll see. Oh, that guy, that guy, that guy, you know, and uh, and as I say, and my brother produced it, and he's no longer with us, and so it's this kind of. It'll be a tribute to him too, because um, it's a it's a film that he really got behind, and, and he raised the money, and we did it shot in 16 millimeter. This is to a total analog movie, and 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 the look of it absolutely screams analog, you know, on every level. I mean, I think it sounds interesting. I'll check it out. Oh well, I I, I look forward to seeing everyone there, but 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 it's just it's one of those films that you know it's a it's a love it or hate it movie, and I think right now maybe the percentage is 25 75 love to hate. So, so, you know, uh, but, but the people that do love it really love it. They fall in love with it. So, so it's, it's, one of those, it's one of those, it's a special movie. If it speaks to you, you'll never forget it. Now, is this your first CFF? No, I, I, I was around for the first one. I wasn't, around, I, couldn't, I wasn't here last year, but the first one I was here for. Do you have any thoughts you'd like? You no, no, no. I mean, Chris Dorch, senior and uh, junior, the, the two Dorches, uh, are, are blessings to, uh, to film in Chattanooga. They are, they are absolute blessings. And it's a rare combination. Chris, Chris Dorch is a rare combination of great ideas and great implementation of those ideas. Usually it's one or the other. And uh, he's just, he's a blessing for, for, uh, for film, all of, all of creative people in Chattanooga. I in agree. I agree very much. Well, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you'd like to check out his film, it's showing on Friday at 1.15. Thank you.